All right, options vesting, specifically vesting. This is a subject that's popular with entrepreneurs, of course, because it means that you are accruing options over time. Uh, when you get an options grant from your company, uh, in this case, let's say you get a thousand shares, the company will grant you options. Uh, they'll say, here, here's the thousand, op uh, thousand options. And I'm sorry, I should say options. That's important because these aren't shares of stock. Uh, they are options to purchase a share of stock at a later date for this example. So the company's going to say, here's a thousand options. That's great. But normally, it's not the company's best interest to just give you those thousand options outright. Instead, they're going to put some rules around how you get those options and over what period of time and under what circumstances. The reason companies do that is, of course, to incent employees to stick around and do good work over a long period of time. So, uh, vesting is the process of you earning these options. You don't get them all at the same time. They vest over time. So, let's talk about how vesting works. Essentially, uh, vesting has to do, usually, almost always, with the time frame. In this case, they refer to the time frame as a vesting schedule. Uh, companies can choose various vesting schedules. Uh, common vesting schedules are three years. Uh, the most common that we're going to talk about today, uh, currently, is a four-year vest. So that means your options are going to take four years to completely vest, and you get them over time. You vest over time. Uh, also, there are some concepts we'll discuss, like a cliff and a trigger, and we'll fill those in as we go. So let's talk about how vesting usually works. Uh, vesting, often the options grants are split into periods of time. Uh, the most common period of time is monthly. So you're going to vest on a monthly basis, meaning every month you're going to get a little bit of your options. Um, in this case, they're over the course of four years, we've set the vesting schedule to four years. You can see year number one, year number two, year number three, year number four. Because the vesting schedule is four years, you're going to get, there's 48 months, right, in four years. So you're going to get 1 48th of your options every month, okay? Now, of course, I'd have to divide 1,000 by 48, which I can't do in my head. But you'd get 1 48th of your options every month until your four-year anniversary of working for the company, in which case all 1,000 a thousand options would be yours. Uh, that's the concept of vesting. However, uh, if we're talking about what is the most common structure, and that's a four-year vesting schedule, we would also be talking about something called a cliff. Uh, what a cliff is, is you don't get any options until your one-year anniversary of employment. I'm talking about a one-year cliff, I apologize. This is a one-year cliff. Cliffs can be set at different times. You get zero options until the one-year uh, anniversary of your employment, and then you get 25% of your options. So you would normally you would have accrued 25% by this point. When you have a cliff, you're not accruing those until the one year anniversary of your employment, in which case you get all 25% at one time. So for this example, you would get 250 options right here. And that would be a one year cliff, very common. And then after the cliff, you would start accruing options monthly. So then you'd get 148th of the total monthly, indefinitely, until the end of your four-year grant. Uh, now, there's also something called a trigger. Triggers have to do with uh, some, another term that we use called acceleration, and I'll write that over here. Now, acceleration means if something happens, what are the conditions that have to occur for me to get all of these options quickly or at once? That's the concept of acceleration. Um, typically, I'll use some very general examples. Uh, there are two triggers that are discussed often about, around acceleration. Uh, the first trigger is uh, change of control. Okay, so this, that would be uh, change of control. Okay, so actually, I'll write them up here so we can see them better. So change of control would be one trigger, and the other would be you get fired. Okay, so there's, they refer to these as single triggers or double triggers, meaning either one of these things has to occur or both of them have to occur for you to get acceleration. You, all, you vest all of your options. Uh, the most common 
uh, it would be a change of control. So if the company gets sold or IPOs or some major event happens where uh, there's a change of control, assuming that's a good event, almost always uh, if you have a trigger built into your options grant, it will accelerate your investing. Uh, also, if you get fired, um, it will accelerate your investing. Not always will this be uh, in place because when a company buys your company, often the executives are really a big value uh, for the acquiring company and they don't want to lose you. So if you were to accelerate all of your options, you could just turn them into stock, make a profit and leave the company. That's not what the acquiring company wants. So the acquiring company wants you to stick around and work for them. However, if the company acquires your company, uh, and they already have a sales force, say, and you're a sales guy, and they say, sorry, we don't need you, you're fired as part of the acquisition because we already have a sales force, that can often kick in acceleration. So it's a way for a, an employee to protect themselves to have a, a single trigger or a double trigger uh, and either accelerate based on change of control or if they get fired or when both of those things happen. So again, vesting is the process of accruing your options over time. And these concepts, vesting schedule, cliff, and trigger, are things that control how you vest and under what circumstances. You can also have performance-based vesting around you know, whether you're hitting sales goals or engineering goals, uh, but those vary from company to company. The most common situation is going to be a four-year vest with a one-year cliff, and often there will be no triggers uh, unless you negotiate those into your package. So it's important to understand vesting as an employee or a founder uh, of a company because it has to do with how you acquire options, which can uh, often lead to a lot of value.